Alright guys, welcome to this video tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you in this video tutorial how to make brushes um, that you could actually generate some uh, shapes in Illustrator and then just bring them into Photoshop and use those images that you create as brushes. Uh, something that probably for a lot of you it's not new but um, this is just a, a cool way of customizing brushes and uh, with Illustrator what's fun with it is that it's vectors and you got some really nice and crisp lines and you could bring those in into Photoshop I'll show you later on how how, uh, how I do this so for now let's just um, start with this and uh, <clears throat> for this tutorial I'm going to use um, Illustrator and Photoshop CS3 but you could actually do this uh, I was able to do this in Photoshop CS2 and uh, Illustrator CS2 so it's really up to you guys <clears throat> it's just a tool alright so um, in order to create those brushes what I do most of the time is I start by uh, making a shape I'll just generate a shape here from the shape menu I'm just gonna take like the star for example uh, you could take any shape but I just didn't take the star because it's very versatile and you could do a lot of things with that so uh, just bring it in um, just gonna set the points to probably like four so it can be a bit thicker or even like probably six would be even better and um, <clears throat> I just discovered this like a couple of months ago and it's uh, it's a very cool and <clears throat> fun tool to use if you want to create those shapes as I said before and to uh, actually brushes more than anything else so you create you select the shape and you go into the uh, the brush category uh, I just took out the chart, but I'm just going to close, I'm going to show you how I get these. So you go into the brushes, and the little down menu here, you go into the open brushes, artistic, uh, I just took the artistic chart, charcoal pencil, uh, it gives a nice variety of brushes, and you could use these um, to create this. So I selected the shape, I choose this particular brush you could see it changes all the uh, the whole like pattern of the uh, of the shape that I created um, and this is a really fun tool to use you go right here under the the brush menu it's called option of selected objects you click on it and you'll have this little down menu right here and you click proportional and you could see already it switches uh, it switches like the uh, the shape but, but before I'm doing this uh, I like to kind of play around with the shape that I have so I take this tool here in, photo, in, in Illustrator and you can actually drag those points and you could make more interesting shapes out of it right so it gives you a more like variety not variety but more of a freedom of achieving whatever exactly you want so let's just say that I do this this and this, for example, let's just bring this one out. All right. Um, bring this one in too. Whatever. Just you could do anything you want, but I just move them around like that, so it gives me a more. You'll see what I mean. Uh, by increasing also the uh, going back on the shape, increase the uh, the stroke probably by three points which is actually a lot you'll see why and you go into this little down menu here which is called option of selected objects click on proportional and bow you got this really cool shape that is created right away you could actually click OK and you can actually downsize this uh, this brush see the more the smaller you make the smaller the shape gets but that doesn't change anything to the fact that you have this really cool shape um, all right so again you could ch you could change those parameters like uh, d d dragging the points and you'll see like it gives you like a lot of variety and a lot of crazy crazy shapes which I really enjoy having fun with those just until you get something that you like you know you just fool around you basically that's that's what I do most of the time with, with uh, Photoshop and Illustrator. 
So you get kind of a cool shape, a cool like brush you think you could be interesting to uh, to work with in Photoshop. And again, anytime you could uh, size these, if you like this, I'm just gonna go down and size it again. And this is what the image that you get. All right, so let's say that you want this as a brush. You could use this brush to do, for example, some architectural, cool architectural, futuristic um, landscapes or just to use it as in any other way. So you click on this, actually, you go on the file, you save. You save it as, for example, let's say uh, Zaha 2, whatever name you want to give. You save it, I put it into a brush, and you go get into Photoshop. Alright. Alright, this is already a brush that I created later on, uh, before. And I'm just going to show you what I what I you could do with actually with Photoshop. All right, so let's make a new document. All right, and file. You're gonna open this uh, picture that I created. The EPS actually. It's called so I had to open. All right. So you get this. I'm just going to take this brush away because it's uh, really annoying. I'm just going to take another one, just a regular one. Alright, so you get this brush. You get this image that I saved it as an EPS to import it in Photoshop. <clears throat> um, so you could, you're going you're gonna to use this image to create that effect that you want. Uh, I usually bring this, uh, this image into like a normal like white background. Just to make sure that I have, you could close this actually, you don't need it anymore. You don't need to save. You bring this into, into your image right here. Again, you could uh, control transform. So you, it's a command T. You could downscale this or upscale whatever you want uh, proportionally, which is you hold the, uh, sorry, the shift key. All right. And I usually merge all those background and layer just to make sure that I have one layer, which sometimes this one becomes an EPS when it comes in it's as a um, um, transparent background. So I merge it to, to, with a white. That actually allows you to make better um, brushes in Photoshop. So you select the layer. Here. To this, just gonna bring this layer down. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I have to say okay. Accept this, and now merge flatten image. Go into the edit menu, define brush preset, and you have your brush right there, which is already preset. So you just give it a name. Uh, let's say. Zaha 2. Probably asking why Zaha. It's because I there's an architect that I really enjoy and her name is Zaha. Did and it makes me think of those shapes. So for me, it's an easy reminder to know exactly what kind of brushes I'm making and working with those. So we say okay. And let's close this. And save. This is already an image that I made it before. Then save. We'll come back to Photoshop. Open a new image, a new image, and go into the brush. Pick up a brush. Go into the brush menu, and you'll see it right here. It appeared. This new brush that you just created. It's right there. So, just pick the darker color so you see whatever you you get out of this, and this is what actually comes up with some really cool really cool brushes I guess yeah and you could work in those and you know make this crazy futuristic uh, city whatever you want to make um, also you could uh, customize that brush uh, you can go into the brush menu here and this is actually you know 
you probably guys know pretty well how actually Photoshop works. But you could really like mess around and change everything about the brush, you know, into shape dynamics, scattering, textures, etc., etc., all the uh, dynamic uh, controls that you have. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little video and uh, find it helpful. So thank you very much. See you.